A cesarean section is performed when a vaginal birth would endanger the mother or fetus, or when certain maternal or fetal complications exist, such as placenta previa, cephalopelvic disproportion, or fetal distress. First, the surgeon makes an abdominal incision, which may be vertical, from just below the umbilicus to the mons pubis, or transverse, just above the mons pubis. The transverse incision, or bikini incision, is more common. The surgeon opens the abdomen in layers, suctioning blood as needed. Next, the surgeon makes a uterine incision and enlarges the opening. If needed, the amniotic sac is ruptured. After that, any retractors are removed. If the fetus is in the vertex, or head-first position, the surgeon gently elevates the head and draws it out manually or with obstetric forceps or a vacuum apparatus. As soon as the head is delivered, a surgical assistant aspirates the infant's mouth and nares to prevent amniotic fluid aspiration. Then the assistant applies pressure through the mother's abdomen on the fundus while the surgeon delivers the shoulders and extremities. After the entire infant is delivered, the umbilical cord is clamped and cut. Then the surgeon gently delivers the placenta. The surgeon checks the placenta to be sure the placenta is intact and has been completely removed from the uterus. Finally, the surgeon sutures the uterine incision and then the abdominal incision.